Welcome to Cedar Croft. Today we're going to be making my mom's famous, at least in our family, pound cake. Now she has made this pound cake in many different flavors and the one that she started making it in was called butternut. Um, now our family has always called it butternut pound cake, but when you go to find the um, extract for that flavor and you can only find it in certain places it's butter and nut so anyway that is her famous um, pound cake but today we're going to do a different flavor and this one is a very popular flavor lemon pound cake and I'm really excited to show you it's super easy it's not too time-consuming and um, it's actually easier than you think. So let's get started. This recipe is very simple. As you can see, I have all of the ingredients in front of me. Let me go over that with you as I load the um, ingredients into my Bosch mixer. So the first thing that go will go in will be two sticks of butter. The next ingredient will be half a cup of shortening. And so here's my shortening. There we go. Now this recipe has been in my family for about 50 years. So it is a tried and true recipe. Three cups of sugar. three cups of flour, but first we're going to go ahead and cream the um, butter, Crisco, and sugar until fluffy. So let me put the lid on and I'll bring you over so that you can see that process. Okay, the next thing we're going to add are the eggs. And it says add the eggs one at a time. So let's see if that actually happens. Well, there's two. Let me mix it. Okay, that looks super fluffy. Can you see that? The next thing we're going to do, um, and that was six eggs if I didn't say that. Um, the next thing we're going to do is add our salt. And this is a half a teaspoon of salt. And with most baking goods, salt helps bring out flavor. So we don't want to forget that. And then what we're going to do is add one third of the flour, one third of the milk, mix it up, one third of the flour, one third of the milk until it's all in. And then at the very end, we will add the two tablespoons of lemon extract. So this is three tablespoons, or excuse me, three cups of flour. So we're going to put, let me open this up a little bit. We're going to eyeball one third of the flour and give that a little stir. <laughs> one third of the milk.
one third of the flour. Again, we're just eyeballing this. We're trying to keep the mess at a minimum. And the last of the flour. And I think I got out of order. So here we go, the rest of the milk. That is a beautiful, beautiful batter. The last thing we need to do is add our two tablespoons of lemon extract. And we're going to add that. And I think I might put the lid back on. You don't want to overmix your pound cake, and now we're ready to put it in the pan. Okay, so I have my bundt pan here, and I have the dough, the batter, and we're going to carefully carefully put the batter into the pan I have my oven preheated at 325 going to go ahead and get the rest of this in here and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it in. And in the oven we go. Okay, so the final directions say bake in a greased and floured bundt pan at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour and 15 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer and we'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. While we wait for the cake, it's time for a coffee break. So no better place than the craft room. It's still a mess from the move. Not everything has been put away. Most things have not been put away. <laughs> but if you are interested in uh, crochet or yarn or crafts, hop on over to my other channel, Crochet Therapy, and um, check us out. I have tutorials for different patterns and um, lots of fun chit chat and uh, life happenings and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to drink my coffee and We'll be back when the cake comes out of the oven. And I can't wait. I think I'm gonna make another pot of coffee when that cake comes out. <laughs> Here's the cake and it's really pretty. So now it's time to get it on a cooling rack and let's let it cool 
before we cut it. <laughs> All right, so what we do is we take a cooling rack and at least at first, um, we usually put a paper towel down just simply because um, the cake can have a tendency to be extra soft and go through that rack when it is fresh. So I'm gonna try and not burn myself. Hmm, okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> I'm doing it, but I don't know. <sighs> Mom, can you come help me? Okay. It's not, <laughs> it's not turning. Okay. I guess I'm afraid of burning myself, which I've done almost every day. <laughs> every day with this oven. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see. Now the truth. <gasps> Look how pretty that cake is. <laughs> Look how pretty that cake is. So this is going to cool and then we will cut it. It's tasting time. This cake is so moist and delicious. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Are we ready? Yep. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Go. Go. Mmm. Yeah. That's really good. It turned out really good. The cake is soft. The outside is crusty, but in a good way. It's perfect. It's really good. Mom, this is good cake. Great you need cake. to try it. <laughs> it was very, very good. Mom even approved. <laughs> Dad, do you approve? Approved. Approved. <laughs> All right, so you need to try this cake. I'll put the recipe link down below. Actually, it's not a link. I'm just going to write out the recipe below. And um, enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> Rosie, would you like a bite? Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> I think she approves. You're sitting so pretty. You're sitting so pretty. Would you like one more bite? One more bite. And then that's it. <laughs>